fact, I just realized I didn't click the go live button. That's the second week in a row, Raj, I've done that, where I, I've gotten 10 minutes into a segment and I forgot to click the stupid button. Oh, my goodness. They added a button, you see, so it used to be you just click, and then it goes in. Now they've added another button, like, are you sure? And you click it again. So now, as of this moment, we're live on Facebook at facebook.com slash Schrock Innovation. So you can check that out. I hit refresh on my own screen here and didn't see my own video, and I thought, that's unusual. So, yeah, you can definitely check us out there. You can watch the show, make comments during the commercial breaks. I try to answer them for you. But if you do miss the program, we take these videos, or maybe you don't do social media. We take these videos and the audio, and we post them all to our website at schrockinnovations.com. Just click on the radio show tab up there, and you can watch all the archive shows. We usually get them up on Monday. Uh, and so you can check that out and go back through the weeks and see everything that you might have missed. If you did miss last week's program, here's what we did last week that you're going to want to you're going to want to go back. It was a, it was a fun show. Uh, last week we told you about uh, the secret places that the youths of today go to get their tech knowledge and information. Uh, so you know, you, you would you think it was from school? Pfft, it goes to school to learn this stuff. Come on. Uh, we warned you that there were 900 plus 901 today um, vulnerabilities that are currently unpatched that can allow bad guys to take complete control of your computers. This is why it's important that you take the security of your devices very seriously, even if you don't think you have anything on your device that's worth compromising. Sometimes they don't want your stuff. They just want to use your device to compromise other devices. That way, when the FBI comes knocking, you know, and they come to your house looking for Russian hackers, you know, it's just how life works. That's why they want access to your stuff. And you want to really prevent that from happening because you don't want to be a cog in some crime syndicate's wheel of taking advantage of businesses or individuals. Also, we explained how Apple, Apple's new photo monitoring software is going to work, uh, how Apple states that they're going to mitigate the privacy concerns that you've probably heard about that by now, uh, and you know, how, you know, what, what are the consequences of putting a system into place. And probably the biggest lesson that we learned in that segment was that all of the other cloud services are already doing it. They're already going through your stuff and scanning it for nasty things that should be reported to authorities. So yes, you should not have pictures of missing or exploited children on your hard drive. Let's be very clear about that. Is it okay for the government to have access to that? Well, not the government per se, but we, we have this Fourth Amendment do -si do going on where a private company snoops on your stuff and then they report what the government wants to hear to the government. Therefore, the government is not violating your Fourth Amendment rights because they, got, they had it reported to them. Apple is now the privacy king of smartphones is now going to take part in that system as well. Uh, so that was something that you want to be aware of, not because, uh, you know, we're trying to help people, um, you know, abuse children or anything crazy like that, but because this is a slippery slope. If they can monitor one behavior that is, everyone would agree, repulsive and needs to be stopped, well, what about a behavior that most people agree should be stopped? Or what about looking for photos of the Capitol on January 6th on someone's computer? You know, a lot of people don't realize every time you take a photo, it's got metadata attached to it now with your phone and everything. Uh, it records the date, the GPS location, everything about it. So it's pretty easy to actually sort through the files on a computer and find out when and where a photo was taken. That's why you want to be careful around Christmas time when you're showing off all your, your new goods to everybody. Uh, all right. Also, we explained how Google has created, and this is honest to goodness, a true story, true news. Time crystals. Yes, Google is creating time crystals with their quantum computers. What is a time crystal? Why do they call it a time crystal when it has nothing to do with traveling through time? I don't know, but it's a whole new state of matter. And if you want to hear about it, you can tune into the final segment of last week's show at schrockinnovations.com. Just click on the radio show tab up there. So that's going to be a tough show to beat. I mean, anytime you have time crystals in a radio show, I mean, that's pretty, that's some Art Bell stuff right there. It's, it's hard to beat that. So uh, what are we going to do this week? We're going to give it. We're going to give it the college try. So who is stepping up to replace our evil? You guys, you guys know who our evil is, right? It was only the most notorious ransomware gang to ever. They they invented ransomware as a service. You know, God bless them. Uh, you know, they basically they said, you know, we can't infect people fast enough. So what if we had other people that had ways to infect people and we just gave them a cut of the ransom? Wouldn't that be awesome? And that's what they did. Well, then they accidentally screwed up and hacked 1,500 companies at once by compromising a, a, a managed service provider. That was the Kaseya story. And then Joe Biden started talking about him, and all of a sudden, State Department was getting involved, and, and the heat was enough to melt all our evil down. 
Now, those bad guys didn't just go away. I'm sure they will eventually rebrand, but who is going to take their place? Somebody's taking their place. So we're going to tell you what's going on there on the show today. Also, there's a new update out for your Macs. We have two really big Mac stories today. Um, the new update is OS Big Sur 11.5.2. It is a massive update. It's like 2.5 gigabytes. It is a data cap crushing update. Should you get it? Should you wait? We're going to tell you what to do with that coming up on the program today. Also, uh, speaking of Macs, malware is targeting Macs at an unprecedented rate. That's right. All the people, you know, a lot of people still to this day think that Macs are impervious to malware, and they are not. A lot of people think that the uh, the protect the X protect system that's built into Macs is enough to keep their Macs safe, because of course Apple has a vested interest in keeping the Mac safe. No one's going to deny that. But can Apple keep up? Apple is not a security company. Can Apple keep up with the onslaught? We're going to talk about that on the program today so you know what you need to do to keep your Mac safe. Also, did you restart your computer this week? That's right, folks. Last Tuesday was Patch Tuesday. All kinds of patches, including really important patches for that print serve bug. Uh, you know, the uh, the nightmare printer hack thing, the print spooler thing that we talked about a couple weeks ago. There was another patch. It was the second one for that. And it might not be working right uh, so we're going to tell you what's going on with that and what you need to do. If you're, if you're a home user, you're probably not going to need to screw around with your printer. If you are a corporate user, this is going to change your entire world <laughs> because what's the one thing that everyone always complains about? The printer. And it's going to make installing printers harder, removing printers harder, and actually printing to printers harder. So we're going to tell you what's going on there on the program. So we got quite a bit to cover today and, of course, your calls as well, 888 888- Two five zero two zero nine one. All right. So really quickly, I want to before we get into everything, I want to remind everybody while you're going to schrockinnovations.com, you can click on there's a great big graphic on the home page that you can click on that will allow you to uh, to enter a contest that we have going on right now to win a free solid state laptop from Schrock Innovations. This isn't just some laptop that you can buy, you know, from a box store. This is one that's been completely modded and upgraded to be as fast as possible by Schrock Innovations' talented crew to make sure that you're getting a computer that's going to just do everything that you want it to do. Now, how do you win the computer? All right, you go to there, you go to the website, you click on the thing, you have to register an account, you have to type in your email, pick a password, all that stuff, okay? Once you have that done, then there are separate things that you can do to gain entries in the contest. Um, so obviously the first one is we've asked for you to vote in the Best of Omaha competition. We provide a convenient link there for you as well that you can click on to go vote. Go vote in the Best of Omaha competition. Well, bam, you've got yourself five entries. Um, starting today, supposedly on the 15th was, this, was the launch date for Best of Lincoln. Uh, last time we checked this morning, that URL is not active yet, but we did include it in the competition now. So if you want to vote in the Best of Lincoln competition, you can do that as well to gain additional entries. Now, some people are like, Thor, I live in Des Moines. I don't live in Omaha. I don't live in, in you know, Lincoln. Can I still enter these contests? And the answer is, yeah, there's no geo-targeting. You can go ahead and enter. Uh, go ahead, enter, register your votes, vote for any companies that you might know. I think you have to vote for five companies in each contest before your vote is actually counted. Uh, so you vote for five places that you pick, and then you go from there. So it's pretty pretty cool stuff. Now, also, there are some social media things that you can do to gain additional entries, like liking Shrock's Facebook page, sharing our posts, things like that. Those are worth additional entries. But every year we have people that contact us and say, Thor, I don't do social media. How do I get extra entries? This isn't fair. So we gave you a way this year to get extra entries. To date, we haven't had anybody do it. So all you people who complain every year about not having social media – I don't want to hear it because <laughs> we said, come to a service center. You need to get your maintenance done anyway. While you're in the service center, take a picture, upload that picture to us on the internet, and then we can use it in our social media. You don't have to be in the picture. You can just send us a picture of, of a service center, and we, we want to see how things look from your perspective. Send us a picture, and then we'll get you extra entries in the competition as well. I suppose I shouldn't say we haven't seen one yet. I haven't checked in the last week. Uh, so we could have Sergey could have received one by now, and I just wouldn't know about it. Um, I've been a little busy with everything going on with my father-in-law, so I, I haven't been in that loop. But uh, but I, it's possible. But as of the last time that I checked, we hadn't received any pictures yet. So I don't want to freak somebody out if they did send one in. You know, they're like, oh no, he doesn't have it. The system automatically calculates your entries, and you cannot fool Sergey's system. 
888-250-2091. All right, before we go to break, Our Evil is a nasty ransomware company. Um, well, I shouldn't say company, organization. They're a criminal gang. What they do is they get into networks of businesses specifically, and they start encrypting their information. And then if you want to get your files back, if you want them decrypted, you have to pay a ransom in Bitcoin, right? Then com companies got wise and started doing cold storage backups. Well, then they went to stealing the information, then encrypting the information, and then saying we're going to release the information if you don't pay. Uh, just recently here in the last two weeks, um, an accounting firm for Ford and a bunch of other big companies got compromised, and they insist no customer data was lost, but how do they know? So anyway, after as I said before, after all the pressure from the Kaseya hack, they kind of melted away, and now we've got a new company coming up to, to take them over, basically. So you had a lull, a, a welcome lull in ransomware uh, for a short period of time here, and now that lull is over because we're starting to see attacks coming back now. So it's one of those things where we're, we – ransomware as a service is a real threat. It is how the bad guys are getting into so many computers so fast because – one guy gets a vulnerability like the one I'm going to tell you about in, in Windows here at the end of the program today. And with that one vulnerability, they are able to attack millions of computers. So the bad guys don't have to figure out how to get in. There are lower level bad guys that are figuring that out for them and agreeing to spread their ransomware for a cut of the action. So make sure that you've got your, your patches up to date. Make sure you've restarted your computer from the last Windows update. Happens the second Tuesday of every month. That's the easiest free thing that you can do to make sure that you stay safe. Don't use Windows 7. Don't use Windows XP. Don't use Vista. They're all dead operating systems, and they don't get updates. They are not protected against the most recent threats and vulnerabilities, and they will not be. Uh, don't use old versions of Microsoft Office. There's a lot of you floating around out there still, still rocking Office 2010. Office is good for five years after it's issued. So your Office 2010 was end of life and no more updates or patches until in 2015. Do you know that over 50% of all malware that enters a computer comes in as an Office document? Over half. So if you're using Office 2010, Office 2013, uh, starting next year, Office 2016. If you're on 2016 right now, it's time to start planning a move. You can go to uh, Microsoft 365 if you want to pay every month, or you can buy Office 2021. Use it for five years, then move on. It's cheaper that way, honestly. So anyway, the, the long story short, get your patches. Make sure your software versions are up to date. Those are things that you need to do at home yourself. Once that's done, Schrock can help you out by making sure your third-party software is up to date with Secure Updater and that your antivirus picture is covered because just like X-Protect can't keep your Mac safe, the, uh, the Windows malware malicious you know, software tool isn't enough to keep your PC safe. It's not an exclusive Apple thing. Microsoft's not a security company either. Uh, so it's important to have a security company guarding your stuff. Going to take a quick break here, guys. When we come back, we're going to tell you all about the OS X Big Sur update that came out this week. Is this an update that you should install on your Mac? It is a huge update. Should you get it? Should you wait? We're going to tell you what to do with this one coming up next on Compute This. Schrock Innovations repair technicians also make house calls. Make an appointment and let us bring our award-winning computer support right to your home or business. Remember the good old days when virus detection worked like where's Waldo? Spot the virus in the striped shirt and you win. Today's infections are changing hourly to avoid detection and use social engineering to trick you into making mistakes. Using yesterday's security to defend against today's threats is like using leeches to stop an infection. It just doesn't work. We recommend Sophos Intercept X, antivirus backed by Schrock's virus-free guarantee. Sophos uses the power of AI to detect the patterns of a virus attack and responds with Schrock's custom actions that stop it fast. With Sophos on your PC, Mac, Android, or iOS device, you get the state-of-the-art protection you need to defend against the most advanced attacks out there. In fact, if your device gets a virus while running Sophos Antivirus, Schrock will remove it for free, guaranteed. It hasn't happened yet, and we intend to keep it that way. Ditch your dad's antivirus and keep your device, data, and identity safe with Sophos and Schrock Innovations. Compute this Pro Tip 178. Those little life-saving surge protector strips are vital to your computer's health and should be used whenever possible, even for laptops. 
As computers get smaller and more powerful, they're also becoming more sensitive to dirty power, and your power is a lot dirtier than you might think. Even if you have a whole home surge protection, most power surges are generated within your own home. If you've ever vacuumed and seen the lights get dimmer and brighter, you created a surge. Surge protectors can only absorb so much energy measured in joules. When that capacity is exhausted, your surge protector becomes a glorified extension cord and needs to be replaced. You should always look for surge protectors that give audible alerts when they're no longer able to protect your equipment. Schrock recommends these because the lights on most strips are just power lights and they don't tell you when it's time to replace the unit. If in doubt, replace your surge protectors annually to keep your expensive TVs, computers, and other electronic equipment safe. This pro tip is brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. Alrighty, folks, welcome back into Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. 888 250 2091 is the number to join us on the program today. Ask a question, make a comment, be a part of the program, and we'll put you in the drawing for that $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. Please remember, there is no such thing as a silly question, guys. Literally, I had a, a gentleman from Espinosa Services Incorporated were redoing my driveway. He was, he, we got the concrete poured, got the lines cut. The guy did amazing work. Would highly recommend him and his company. It's a family business. Uh, it was great to support a, another local business to get the, got a great price on everything. It worked really well. Um, at the end, he said, can I ask you a computer question? <laughs> and I said, well, I've asked you several driveway questions, so I suppose that's fair. And he was like, you know, hey, I'm running Windows 7. I'm running Office 2010. Some people are telling me I need to get off of that stuff. Is that true? I'm like, let me thank you for the inspiration for the show on Sunday. I appreciate that. Um, let me give you the rundown. Yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> you need to update now. And so I told him everything he needed to do. And, and then, of course, I said, and if you decide to buy a new computer, don't you have to be careful. You know, make sure you look at Windows 11 compatibility before you just buy a computer, because a lot of the things that are out right now, about 80 percent of the computers on the shelf are not compatible with Windows 11. Eighty percent of Microsoft's own Surface lineup that's currently for sale at Microsoft.com is not compatible with Windows 11. you got to be kidding me. Um, so anyway, be careful what you're buying right now. All computers at Schrock Innovations that we sell are compatible with Windows 11, by the way. 888-250-2091. Also in the news this week, a little side story that we can chat about more during the After Schrock, little program that we do uh, after the show here. Um, did you hear that Norton LifeLock is merging again? That's right. Norton LifeLock and Avast are merging together to form a new security company. The, the press release was uh, all about the merger, right? So uh, the stock prices went up, everything else. So that, that was the goal of the press release. And, of course, I read the press release because I wanted to see why is the free antivirus company Avast, that, of course, has some people who pay for it, um, merging with Norton LifeLock. To refresh your memory, just a couple years ago, uh, Symantec sold their Symantec endpoint division to Broadcom, who screwed it up royally, had a real good thing going, and they screwed it up royally. That's why we bailed and moved everybody to Sophos. Uh, because we always said if there was a better option that came along, we would move you to that option. And, yeah, we moved almost, what, 9,000 people to Sophos in, a, in, what, three months. It was a crazy migration, but we got it done. So then they took the consumer division, the, the, the Norton product part of it, and they said, well, we, we need software to sell now. We can't use the software that we sold to Broadcom. So let's get out the old vault and dig up the Norton 360. You know, the stuff that we retired in 2015 that uh, can't really protect against ransomware infections uh, and, and, re and resurrect that. OK, great. So they resurrect that. Um, and then it, and they partnered with LifeLock and they threw some some bennies in there. And to make sure that they kept all their subscribers, they said, you could protect like 1.5 million devices with one subscription. Yay! Because, you know, having crappy coverage over 1.5 million devices is better than having no coverage at all, I suppose. The better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick theory. Um, Avast is you, you know, primarily known to be a free company, a free antivirus provider. Again, better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Also not something I would trust my internet security to. They recently merged with AVG, the other freebie, because it's hard to survive in a market giving your product away for free. Well, now Norton 360 and Avast are merging, and the goal is to leverage the brand, baby. We're going to leverage that Norton brand for everything it's worth. 
Well, if you keep doing this kind of thing, it's not going to be worth much for long. No word on whether the merger between the two companies will actually bring customers of either company increased security. Did I mention that we recommend Sophos antivirus for a reason? Brands are not what they used to be, guys. You need someone watching your back to make sure these things are, are doing everything right, which is one of the reasons why we're bringing you this story about the new OS X update. Big Sur version 11.5.2 is out. Should you install it? Well, the guys over at ZDNet did a test install on their Macs, and they literally said nothing is different. Like, we can't find anything that's different about it. Um, they'd notice that on new installations, if you were start installing from scratch on a Mac, uh, it asks you to set up your Apple Pay wallet and stuff like that, some new things there on setup. But for the most part, it's completely the same as the previous version. Uh, Apple doesn't tell you anything about what bugs are being fixed with their software updates, which is incredibly annoying. Um, one of the reasons why they don't do so hot in enterprise IT uh, is because they're, they're very, I don't know, they're embarrassed by the, by the security vulnerabilities that exist in the Mac OS, so they don't talk about them, and they just patch them as they, as they find them, basically. And then to their customers, you know, it's the uh, swan on the water kind of thing. You know, it looks good. It works good for the most part. Everything is fine. Uh, under the water, it's a completely different story. But the good news here is, guys, you should be able to install that update. No major issues, slowdowns, hasn't impacted battery life. Everything appears to be going just fine with the update. Um, and it says it fixes bugs in the Mac OS, but they don't detail what. So we don't know if there's any security fixes. The previous one, 11.5.1, was a huge security update. So if you don't have that one, you really need that one. But 11.5.2 appears to be good to go. It is a massive update. So if you're on a data cap, you might want to wait till closer to the end of the month to make sure you've got enough data available to download it to your, to your Mac. Uh, it is a really, really big update. 888-250-2091. we got to take our bottom of the hour break. But, Steve, stay, uh, stay on the line there. We're going to get to your call. Also coming up next on Compute This, malware targeting Macs. We're going to tell you what's going on and how Apple is leveraging X-Protect to try to keep your Mac safe. Lots of good information coming up next on Compute This. Update all of your third-party apps on your computer with Secure Updater. It keeps all your apps running smoothly and helps block viruses. Download it for free today at secureupdater.com. External hard drives are handy. You can back up multiple computers to them or even use them to move lots of data from one computer to another. Computer users have been buying the same old external hard drives for years. While our computers have been getting faster, we still do backups that take hours or watch epic progress bars creep by to move files. Schrock wanted more for our customers, so our innovators created the fastest external hard drives on the planet. Schrock modular storage devices are up to 50% faster than Seagate or Western Digital Externals and are modular in the truest sense of the word. We can create whatever size and speed of drive you need for all of your needs and all modular storage devices come with a data restoration guarantee if you use our drives for backing up and your computer's hard drive fails we'll restore your backup to your repaired computer for free fast simple and flexible technology solutions from Schrock innovations it's what we do compute this pro tip number 753 have you ever wondered how the bad guys always seem to find a way into your computer Gone are the good old days of email worms and I love you viruses. Nobody wants to steal your data anymore, or in many cases, even your identity. Today's cyber criminals want to sell access to your computer or hold your data for ransom. The bad guys are exploiting zero day vulnerabilities to break into systems that are supposed to be hack proof. These vulnerabilities are always newly discovered and the criminals have a brief time to exploit them before they get patched. Antivirus and firewalls do not prevent these attacks, but you can minimize your computer's exposure by installing all security patches as quickly as possible. The average computer needs 12 patches a week. That's not including the ones that are automatically delivered to your computer. Boost your cybersecurity by staying on top of it manually or use a patch installation program like Secure Updater to get your computer the patches it needs. This pro tip is brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. 
Watch News. I'm Karen McHugh. Accelerated efforts to get Americans and their Afghan interpreters out of Afghanistan as Taliban forces close in on Kabul. Fox News has learned the U.S. Embassy in Kabul is in the process of being evacuated. The embassy is technically still open for business. However, it could close any day now. Kabul is surrounded by the Taliban just waiting to pounce and take over. President Biden, meanwhile, spending the next several days away from the White House. He is at Camp David now, where he was briefed yesterday on the situation in Afghanistan. Fox's David Spunt, 5,000 U.S. troops are facilitating the evacuation operation. Remnants of Tropical Depression Fred now in the lower Gulf of Mexico. Forecasts say it could regain tropical storm strength as it moves towards the northern Gulf Coast. America is listening to Fox News. Now, the News Radio 1110 KFAB Weather Watch. After a morning in the 50s and 60s, we will heat back up into the mid to upper 80s this afternoon under mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures drop into the low to mid 60s overnight. Mid to upper 80s for highs yet again on Monday with just a slight chance for a shower or a storm. With Omaha's most accurate forecast, I'm 6 News First Alert meteorologist Mallory Schnell on News Radio 1110 KFAB. Right now, 64 Omaha Council Bluffs and Lincoln, 733 on News Radio 1110 KFAB. All righty, folks. Thanks for sticking with us through the break. I hope you got your coffee refilled. I hope Winston got Maggie some donuts because we are back and ready to continue on our march through information technology nirvana. Am I overselling this? <laughs> You're listening to Compute This, and my name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company, where we fix computers. We build new computers. Uh, we get your computer upgraded so you don't have to buy a new computer. We do websites. We do custom software. If it touches a computer, Schrock Innovations can help you with it, and we're always willing to help. In fact, for new customers in our service center, your first hour of labor is always free. So when you get that weird nagging problem that you that maybe you want it taken care of, but it's not worth spending money on, Use that free hour of labor. Come on into any Schrock service center. We can usually fix those naggy little problems like that in an hour or less. Uh, if we need more time, we'll stop and call you. We won't run up a bill on you unexpectedly or anything like that. We want you to experience what award-winning service is like. So that way, when you have a real problem with your IT, with your computer, with your hard drive failing, you need data recovery or any of those things, You've got a trusted place that you can go to, and you're not trying to, to whip out a, a Google search or a duck search here at the last minute trying to find a computer company that doesn't look like a bunch of shysters to, to help you out with your technology needs. 888-250-2091. Uh, after the program, we do a, a little show called The After Shrock. It's exclusive on Facebook. Of course, if you don't do social media, we will share the video online at shrockinnovations.com. You can watch it on YouTube or on Rumble as well. Uh, but we're going to put that up at schrockinnovations.com afterward. But this week, uh, we're going to talk about the continuing rally in cryptocurrencies that happen. So if you're into crypto, it's a fun thing to listen to there. Uh, we're going to give you some details on the Omaha Service Center overhaul and everything that's going on behind that and some other things that are that are happening, small things that are happening that you, you know don't warrant mentioning during the radio show. Uh, and also, we're going to talk about all the different ways that you can enter that contest to get a free laptop at schrockinnovations.com. But first, let's jump into those phones. Steve, thank you for being so patient with us. How can I help you today on Compute This? Hey, good morning, Thor. Thanks for taking the call. Uh, it's probably a stupid question, but my, uh, when I click on my file explorer, I'm seeing I've got a series of hard drives hooked up external because I do a lot of video and photo editing. Yeah. But I also see I also see a whole slew of them that when you click on them, there's there's obviously nothing attached. How do I get those to disappear so only the ones that are hooked up show up? My guess is you have a card reader somewhere, either on a printer or on the computer itself. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, there's a card. Actually, I've got a, a, a holiday special at, uh, desktop that's got a card reader. Yep. Uh, for nope. some reason, it's not working right now, but but I don't. Yeah, anyway, yes, I do. Okay, well, first of all, if you have a holiday special, it should be under warranty. So let's get that uh, let's get that card reader replaced for you. There's no charge for that under warranty. Um, secondly, the uh, the card reader, all the drives for the card reader will show up in the device manager as available drives. But when you double click on them, it'll say that the de the device is not ready or it's not working uh, because there's no card in the card reader. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's Windows. That's 
how it looks. You can customize the display so that those are all gathered together at the bottom so that only uh, available drives are shown toward the top. You can do that in the view settings. Um, but unfortunately, those are just going to those are going to stay put there on the screen for you because they're available drives just waiting for a card to be stuck in. But um, as far as that uh, media card reader not working, we definitely want to get that replaced for you. Media card readers are not uh, not a trouble to replace. It's something we can even potentially do while you wait if you need us to. Okay. Hey, what, so uh, kind of allied with that, if you got just a, another second, if yeah. I'm doing that, the other thing is the de the, the desktop doesn't have a uh, – USB-C, is there a way to get that installed on, on this desktop as well? Uh, there, there very well could be. It'll depend on the motherboard that went into your holiday special because depending on the configurations that you chose, we use different motherboards. Uh, so we would need to have an available, um, an available PCI Express slot. Uh, so your holiday special has a wireless card in the back. It also has a graphics card in the back that unfortunately covers two slots. Um, so basically... What we would want to do there is say, hey, are you using it wired or wireless? If you say wired, we say, hey, we can take out the wireless card and add an expansion slot that will give you one or two USB-C ports on the back of the computer instead, if that's more useful. And that's definitely something we've done for people in the past. Okay, great. I appreciate it. Hey, no worries. Thanks for the call, Steve. I appreciate you joining us on the program today. All righty, 888-250-2091. It's that easy, guys. Ask a question, make a comment, and take Steve's $25 gift certificate away. <laughs> oh, well, you have a shot at taking it away anyway. All righty. So we talked a little bit about security at the start of the program, you know, and like I've said in the past, I can do an entire show and, and scare your pants off about all the nasty stuff that's floating around on the Internet right now. You think COVID is scary? Just wait until you hear about all the ways that your computer can be compromised. Long game stuff like you know, I got an update today that something was trying to update uh, but was waiting for Wi-Fi. And I thought to myself, I don't even use that app anymore. Why is that Why is that updating? Or it was backing up. What is it backing up? I don't – it was It was actually WhatsApp. Um, I had to have a conversation with a mining company overseas, and they only used WhatsApp. They didn't take phone calls or emails. So I installed WhatsApp to have a conversation with these people, and it says it's backing up. And I'm like, why do I still have that? Um, so even even security professionals will make stupid mistakes. Like I might need that app again someday, even though I haven't opened it for a year and I could always just reinstall it if I needed it. But meanwhile, it's sending my data across the Internet to God knows what server in who knows what country, maybe encrypted, maybe not. Now, uh, Facebook is a big player with WhatsApp. Do I really want Facebook having all that information? Um, so it's important to keep tabs on these kind of things. And like I said, I can scare your pants off. But that's not the point. The point is I want to make sure that you're aware enough about the security threats around you that you don't make mistakes. Great example. Got an email from a website. You know, any business owner has seen these. The City Search Best of Awards. It's best of award season, guys, as you couldn't tell by the contest to win a free computer, right? Um, we won in Des Moines, no less. Wow, we've only been there for a year, and we win a best of – Best of City 2021 award. My front desk forwards this to me and says, hey, I wasn't, wanted to make sure you're aware of this. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I know what Best of City Search is. But, you know, I thought I was curious because I wanted to see, do they send this email to every computer repair company in Des Moines? Because they say we're featured on their website, right? So if I just go to their website, not using the link they provide, of course, because you don't click on the links in an email. But if I just go to the website, type it in manually and hit enter, what, will I see Schrock Innovations on their website or will I see some other company on their website? Because I'm not in Des Moines, so who knows what I'll see. And so I type in the website and I hit enter and my router actually went off and said, whoop, whoop, this is a website known for scamming people, which is what City Search is. Like the, the city, the, or I shouldn't say City Search, I don't know if that's their name, but uh, the best of city awards. Basically, they give one to every business. But then, of course, when you get the award, they say, do you want a plaque? Do you want a trophy? Do you want this? Do you want that? There's only a small, a nominal fee for receiving these goods, you see. Uh, and then they send you trophies and plaques and things like that. And you, of course, pay money, and it's a scam. Well, my, my computer warned me that that website was trying to infect other, pe other people's computers with malware. So even, even IT pros need to have good security because even we can't watch everything at once, which is one of the reasons I'm bringing you this story today about your Macs. 
Researchers have discovered new ad load malware campaigns targeting Macs and Apple products, i.e. What other Apple products would that be besides Macs, guys? You know, iPhones, iPads. They also need antivirus software. Sentinel Labs released a new report about the discovery of a new adware campaign targeting Apple. Adware puts advertisements on your screen. Very annoying pop-ups and stuff like that. Very Windows 2015, uh, which is why Apple conveniently brands these things. We're, we're currently fighting off Windows attacks on the Mac desktop. Windows, you know, attacks that are formerly only Windows, you know. So they make it sound like it's somehow Microsoft's fault that Apple's being targeted with malware. Um, but the big thing is Apple uses its X-Protect security system to detect malware on all Macs and originally created a protection scheme against ad load, uh, which has floated around the Internet since at least 2017. X-Protect now has 11 different signatures for ad load, uh, some of which cover the 2019 version of the software. Uh, but the latest campaign is that has been discovered is not protected by X-Protect. Now, this is what's going to blow your mind. Uh, I'm going to find this down here. Um, samples began showing up in November of 2020. November of 2020 is when samples were found. X-Protect's last update. So this is the software that virtually every Mac user relies to keep your Mac clean. The last time it was updated by Apple was June 18th. That's almost two months ago, guys. Do you know that Sophos updates your computer like seven times a day? Two months. So X-Protect, as I said before, is much better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. But you really, really, really need to have antivirus software on your Mac. Um, don't buy it from me. If you don't want Sophos, that's cool. I understand. But please get something from somebody because the X-Protect software is just as bad as Microsoft's malicious software protection tools. It doesn't I don't want to get poked in the eye with a sharp stick. I'm just, we'll leave it at that. 888-250-2091. James, welcome to the program. How can I help you today on Compute This? Yeah, hi. I got a question about a VPN. Yes, sir. There's several websites that I watch. I don't have regular TV, so I rely on my computer. Yep. But uh, they've went to, to, to a VPN, and I'm wondering if I purchase a VPN... Do I have to purchase one for every website I watch, or is it good for them all? Great question. Think of your VPN as a privacy filter that you clip on the end of your Internet connection that keeps all the stuff in your house safe. There's different ways you can configure your VPN. You can put it on each device. You can install it on your router, for example, in some cases. There's lots of different ways you can do it. But with that said, your VPN is... What, here's what a VPN does. When you go to, let's just say, Breitbart.com, who knows you've gone to Breitbart.com? Well, you're probably signed into Facebook somewhere, so Facebook knows you went there because Breitbart, Breitbart has the Facebook like buttons on their stories, and that tells Facebook, that helps Facebook track. Um, Google probably knows you've been there because they, I'm sure they have Google Analytics code on their website. Every We would recommend the same thing for any website we build. Uh, to keep track of your statistics and make sure that Google understands how your website works so that you can rank and get visitors. Um, your Internet service provider knows that you went there. They know everything you've typed in there, They and they have to, by law, keep that information for like 90 days uh, on file about you. When you install a VPN, what happens is you go to Breitbart.com, but nobody knows you went there because the, the Breitbart.com request went to the VPN server, and then the VPN server sent it on to Breitbart.com and then tunneled everything back to you as well. So what your internet service provider sees is an outgoing request of something going to this VPN. But then your data is kind of mixed together with everybody else's, encrypted, of course, but mixed together with everybody else's so that at the end of the day, nobody knows what anybody did. And so it's a, a lot of people have this opinion about VPNs. You know, if you're not doing anything wrong, you know, you, you don't need a VPN. Now, other people will call this program and say, do I need a VPN, Thor? And I would say, well, need is a relative word. You need antivirus more than you need a VPN for sure. Um, you, I use a VPN. I pay 100 bucks a year for ExpressVPN. Um, it's one of the fastest ones. 
You don't get any good VPNs for free. In fact, some of the free ones are actually scams that steal your information <laughs> and sell it. Uh, so you definitely don't want to get the free ones. Um, but a, and a lot of the ones that are associated with antivirus products uh, that protect 5 billion different devices, do the mental math on that. You're paying like, what, 70 bucks a year to protect all your devices and have a VPN on everything. How is that possible? It's it's too good okay, to be well, true. Wait, well, wait a minute. You're not answering my question. Okay, let's. You you mentioned Breitbart. Mm -hmm. Let's say I watch Breitbart and I get a VPN. Yep. But then I want to watch the Weather Channel. Is that Breitbart VPN good for the Weather Channel? Can I watch them all? Okay. Or do I have to make the purchase every time? Not at all. No. So, like I said, think of the VPN like a widget, something that you buy. Yeah. You go to the grocery store yeah. and you buy a, a, a spatula. That's what your VPN is. Then when you are you set that up on your computer, it protects anything you do on that computer. Oh, okay. So you, it's not a Breitbart specific one. It, it's not you know YouTube specific one. However, a VPN is not a magic invisible privacy shield, because for example, if you're signed into Facebook and you turn your VPN on and you go to Facebook, Facebook knows who you are because duh, you're signed in. Google knows who you are because duh, you're signed in. Um, you know, so there, you still have to be careful about where you go and what you do. Uh, and some video services, for example, James, won't allow you to use a VPN. Uh, Amazon Prime Video, if you have a VPN enabled, you will not be able to watch anything. Uh, so you have to create pass-throughs for some things. You just have to accept the fact that they're not going to let you use a VPN. But I, I'll tell you, if you want to watch the latest episodes of Heartland, you can only watch those on the Canadian Broadcast Network. And to do that, by golly, you have to be in Canada. And the fastest way to get to Canada is to change your VPN location to Canada. <laughs> if you can't find Canada, sometimes they pronounce it Canada. Um, but, you know, look for Canada. It's more fun. All right. Thank you for the call, James. I appreciate you joining us on the program. 888-250-2091. We're going to take our final break, guys. When we come back, I mentioned that this last Tuesday was Patch Tuesday. Your computer should have automatically downloaded all the updates by now and should be about to restart your computer by force if you're stubborn. So you want to make sure you restart your computer. But guess what? One of the patches that was supposed to fix a problem, it didn't quite fix the problem. So there might be some action you need to take to keep your computer safe outside of antivirus and everything else, and we're going to tell you what to do coming up next on Compute This. Now you can configure and purchase laptops, desktops, tablets, and more, all at the new SchrockInnovations.com. Check out our specials for one-of-a-kind discounts and deals. Schrock Innovations has spent nearly two decades working to make your technology life easier. And the all-new SchrockInnovations.com is no exception. Now you can order new modular computers and solid-state laptops directly from our website, secure your computer with our virus-free guaranteed semantic endpoint software, find innovative new technologies like our modular storage devices, and get free help and tips. Take a look at the special section to find sales on one-of-a-kind items, display models, refurbished units, and our latest special offers. Swing by the Compute This page to watch TV segments and archived radio shows, or even get one-on-one -on -one help through the Schrock Desk. As always, we respect your privacy, so we secure our website with the latest encryption technology and only the most secure payment methods. You can pick up your purchases at any of our three service centers or have them shipped directly to your door. The new SchrockInnovations.com makes technology simple. It's what we do. And now Compute This Pro tip number 373. Everyone knows we're supposed to back up our computers and then check those backups periodically to make sure they're working. So why don't most people do it? Lots of people have different ideas about what backing up means. Is it copying files to a flash drive? Is it using a fancy backup program? And how do you know it's working anyway? Windows makes backups easy through free software that's already on your computer. Open your control panels and click Update and Security. Select Backup and choose from all of the available options to get a regular, reliable checkup. You'll need something to back up to, like a Schrock modular storage device or some other backup hard drive. Backups usually run once a week, but you can always change the frequency. The best part is that if your backup ever fails, you'll see a notification in the lower right corner by your clock telling you something's up. Backing up your important data has never been easier. So take a moment to back up your computer today. This pro tip brought to you by Schrock Innovations Computer Company. All righty, folks, final segment. I can't believe the hour has blown by already. This is crazy. 
You're listening to Compute This. My name is Thor Schrock. I'm the owner of the Schrock Innovations Computer Company. 888-250-2091 is the number to join us on the program today. And, of course, if you ask a question or make a comment, you're still time to get locked in on that $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. All right. So going into the segment here, I, I told you guys about... Uh, Patch Tuesday. So if you missed out, if you didn't know, you need to update your your restart your computer to complete the updating process. Uh, so the second Tuesday of every month is Patch Tuesday. We always post about it on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash rock innovations. If you click like or click follow over there, you're more likely to see those posts you know, going forward. Facebook sometimes in its wisdom doesn't show you everything, but uh, usually a, a good thousand to 15, about half our audience usually sees something like that when we post it. Um, but you need to restart your computer to, to get everything taken care of. One of the updates, you might remember earlier in the month, there was an what's called an out-of-band update. What that means, an out-of-band update means an unplanned update that didn't come out on Patch Tuesday with all the others. And it was this big print spooler bug that uh, allowed bad guys to take control, to take complete control of a computer through the print spooler. And it's a vulnerability that I guess has existed in Windows all the way back to Windows XP. Um, but nobody really ever knew about it. Nobody ever exploited it. Well, then some researcher figured it out, and uh, Microsoft released a patch. Well, then another ver- you know, variety, another flavor of the same exploit came out, requiring Microsoft to release a second patch, which they did on Patch Tuesday. That solved some of the problem. The original researcher that came out with the bug said, the patch is great. I can see how it's mitigating this and mitigating that, but unfortunately, my original proof-of-concept virus code still works. So I think there's going to be another announcement soon, Microsoft? Question mark posted publicly. And sure enough, within 24 hours, boom, Microsoft is now recommending that all network administrators disable the print spooler service on computers to protect them. What does that mean? No printy for you That's right. We're saving some trees this week. Uh, so uh, you disable the print spooler. Uh, already, the patches on Microsoft, you might notice if you try to install a new printer, all of a sudden you have to, you have to click uh, you know, allow or decline. You have to have a, uh, elevated credentials to install new printers now, which is not something you had to have before. That was one of the ways Microsoft stopped the proof of concept code from getting through. But unfortunately, it didn't fix all the problem because apparently there are still ways to exploit. Microsoft is admitting this, and they're saying you need to disable this print spooler. Now, if you are an individual, like a home user, I have not disabled the print spooler on my home computer at this point. The odds of being targeted by this right now as an individual are very, very small. This is a way that bad guys, that, that ransomware providers are going to attack companies. So if you do not print at work, there is no reason to have the print spooler service running at all. So if you don't print... I would recommend that you turn off the print spooler service. If you need help doing that, you can always Google it. But if you need help doing that, give us a call. We can help you out over the Schrock desk to do that. Unfortunately, you have to do it on every computer in your organization and every computer that wanders into your organization. Otherwise, you won't be protected. 888-250-2091. Alan, welcome to the program. How can I help you uncompute this today? Good morning, Thor. Say, I've got a couple of computers, a laptop and a desktop. They're only a few years old, but they're starting to run a little sluggish. Gotcha. They're just not quite as like they were when they're new. What are some things that people can do at home to try to remedy that? Okay, so let's get to the root of the problem. Why are they slowing down? Uh, There are, as there always have been, some maintenance things that you can do at home to remediate, to, to optimize the computer, right? But when you first bought the computer, it was fully optimized. And a lot of people think that it's slowing down because it has fallen out of its optimization. And that can be true. Like you can see some slowness, but no matter how well you optimize that computer, it's never going to be as fast as the day you bought it. The reason is because the load, the demand on the computer has increased exponentially over the last three years. All the patches, all the updates, they're all asking the computer to do just one more thing than it had to do before. Each time, every month, just a couple more things. Or this month, 109 new things. Um, you know, just just a little bit more and a little bit more. And each update itself is not really significant. You're not going to notice the computer slowing down after each of these updates. But the cumulative effect of three years of updates 
for not just Windows, but for every other program on your computer, you have to understand when people develop software, they, they develop their software to be optimized to run on the average computer being used right now. And they assume that the average oh. computer being used right now is less than 18 months old. So that means if you're three years old, you're an entire generation behind in computer speed, and the software that's being pushed out the door today is intended for faster computers. So number one, things you can do at home. Uh, if, you, if you have a mechanical hard drive, you should defragment that hard drive. If you have a solid state, you should never defragment your solid state. It does absolutely nothing for your computer. It actually wears out your solid state drive faster. So don't do it on solid states. Um, but you should defragment. Now, Windows, Windows 10 will automatically defragment mechanical hard drives. You don't have to do anything. It just does it. Um, you can clean up temporary files, especially temporary Internet files. We like a little free program called CCleaner to do that. Um, the letter C and then the word cleaner. But it'll go through and clean out all the caches and everything. Uh, and that's less for your computer to process every time you open up a browser window. You know, make sure you don't have unnecessary programs installed on the computer. Not because the programs themselves, having them on the computer slows it down, but because every one of those programs has some stupid little auto loader thing that loads when the computer starts. So if you don't need the products, remove them from the computer to save yourself the overhead of whatever startup stuff is going on. So that's the stuff that you can do at home. It might make a difference. It probably won't make a difference, though. Now, what can we do in the service center to make a difference? If you have a mechanical hard drive and we upgrade you to a solid state hard drive, your computer will be faster than the day you bought it. Faster than the day you bought it. Now, in the past, that has been a no brainer. Yeah, duh, you need a solid state drive, do it. Now, there's a little caveat in there. We have to think before we do this because Windows 11 is not compatible with many computers that came out three years ago. And Windows 11 is coming out in the fall. So it, it, isn't a deal killer, but it, it adds to the calculus. So you can use Windows 10 until 2025. It's going to cost you 300 bucks to change this thing over to a solid state hard drive. Is $300 to buy another four years of time in a computer a good investment for you? Well, how much is a new computer? Right now, the prices are pretty inflated because they're in shortage. Um, so for a lot of people, upgrading the computer for the next four years of use makes a lot of sense, even if it's not Windows 11 compatible. For other people, even if it is Windows 11 compatible, then it's a no-brainer still. Then you just do it. Um, but the long short of it is that there's a lot of things that we can do in the service center, but it all comes down to resources. Your computer is being asked to do more than it was asked to do in the past, and it needs more resources, or it's going to get it done. It'll just get it done slower. Does that answer your question, Alan? Yes, thank you. That was um very helpful. Hey, no problem, Alan. I hope there's a few things in there that you're able to take advantage and do at home. But if there's anything you need us to do for you, we're happy to help as well. All right. Congratulations, Steve. You're the winner of the $25 Schrock Innovations gift certificate. We'll get you that uh, $25. We'll give you a call here on Monday to get that into your Schrock account. Stay tuned for the After Schrock coming up next. Also, make sure your computers are running Drive Advisor. 14.9% uh, of all the hard drives out there right now are bad, and many people don't even know it. So if you install Drive Advisor, it'll tell you ahead of time, warn you about that data loss before it happens. And we'll see you next weekend for another edition of Compute This. From the Amish Furniture of Nebraska Studio, your home for made-in-the-USA furniture.